Did you even oh, start it? I thought I did. Oh but god, it's alright, it's alright, it's alright. Three, ah. two, one, go. Welcome back to Finesta and Press. This is our first ever weekly roundup about football in the Premier League and all around. Well, sit back, relax, and welcome back to Finesta and Press. That was good, Lennox. Good. Uh, okay. Right. I've got okay. Three, two, one. Wait, what, Wait, what, what are we doing? Who's going fast? You're speaking, Connor. Okay. Um, no, no, Ollie is. Ollie. Wait, what, Ollie. what are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Like, I'm writing down all my free agents. Give us like ten minutes. Yeah, yeah I, we, I, don't I, have, we don't have ten minutes. We have, we have till four o'clock. You mad? Oh. I'm not writing anything down. I am. I'm, not, I'm, I'm, just, I'm, I'm just, just doing it all off I'm the cuff. I'm just looking at. I'm just looking at. I'm just looking at my phone. Just right. go to transfer centre. Okay, so Liverpool. Uh, RF and load. So I'm just gonna have a look at all the teams. Form. Wait. So we've got seven minutes to talk about it. Yeah, so 7 times 5, that's 35, isn't it? Okay. So, so you've got 25 minutes to write stuff if you need to. No, that's fine. I'm, I'm, just gonna have... I'm just looking at my phone, I'm just going to scroll up and down. Actually, I'm just going to have a look at facts and stuff. Steel stuff. I'll go last. Rules. No, Basically. I'm going last. No, 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 we're doing the same, same thing we always do. Uh, we all have to talk about the subject though. Yeah, and yeah, he yeah. might move back to Chelsea. They say. Who? Diego Costa. That's not happening. Diego Costa was an animal loved by Josie Marino, who. An animal. Yeah, here it says Diego Costa was an animal loved by Jose Marino. He Spurs maybe. Doesn't Jose manage Spurs? Yeah. Yeah. He did, yeah. Uh, top star. I'll just do the top star. Right, stats. And then Hulk. Where will Hulk go? Go. Sorry, I, you know, sometimes, you know. Okay, just show me the top stats. Don't show me bloody incredible Hulk. <laughs> United's top stats. Who's aggressively tapping on the <laughs> telephone? interested in Die that's in, what I'm gonna talk actually, about. I might cross out Diego Costa but it, Wolves are interested in Diego um, Costa Hulk yeah I know mm. whoever's doing that please stop it's yeah. the most annoying thing in the world Lennox uh. oh don't worry Tell me, Charlie. Sky said you want to play, but I'm just saying we're doing a podcast. Oh. Whoever's doing that, can you please stop? Actually, stop. stop. It's annoying. Oh, it's very annoying. on the clock. Okay, I'm doing the top six. Do we play after then, actually, she said? Yeah. I'm just going to go for a lay down real quick. What? Now she's you... still on the mic, oh. obviously. I, I just got a bit of a headache. Players that their contracts are going to run out in the football world. Oh, I'm ready when you are. Oh, yeah, There's a lot of good stuff about Olivier Giroud, by the way. Back uh, to original. 
Take your time. Okay, is everyone ready? Yep. Yeah. Right, let's go. Connor. Three. Wait, what, are you ready? Up. I'm Three. doing it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, what? <laughs> 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 three, two, one, go. Why are you, why are you saying three, two, one? I don't know what I'm <laughs> saying. God, oh, you're okay. such a. You're such a non bread. Okay, I'll, I'll just I'll just say it off the top of my head. Go. Okay, three, two, one, go. As Lennox introduced, today we're going to be doing a weekly um, roundup of the this week's events in football. Um, we have each picked this topic, and we're going to talk talk about it for. Roughly seven minutes, and just each share our thoughts on it. So, Charlie, what is your topic? So, I've gone for a very key topic around the world. I mean, I've gone for coronavirus in football. So, um, oh, as we know, coronavirus is just it's a it's just a big thing at the moment, and it's affecting many, many, many millions of people's lives, and especially in football as well. So. Obviously, you got Tottenham's clash with Fulham is like the third Premier League game this season to be postponed because of the virus, and like with Aston, wasn't it Aston Villa's and Newcastle's game in like yeah. December? Yeah, yeah, and, sure. um, and obviously you got City and Everton's that was um, is to be I mean, rearranged. Uh, five Man City players have just tested positive for coronavirus. So that seems yeah. like a big problem in their club. As well, I think. Yeah. yeah. How, like, how, like, these fixtures, like, they're, they're only the ones that have been affected by the virus. Like, there have been, there have been positive results returning every, like, every round of testing in the Premier League this season, including, like, there was, like, a high of 18 in the last, in the last, in the last testing results of, like, between I've... December the 21st and 27th, I think it was. I mean, I think it affects clubs' form as well because it kind of disrupts the, you know, say yeah. say they're winning every game every that's, week and then they have to miss one and they're getting into the flow. You know, it could yeah. affect yeah. That, that, where they that, come in the season full stop. That happened to Leicester yeah, and last then season. Obviously, you've got the players that they need to self isolate and then etc. But obviously, it is a shame because they are talking about a two week. Um, was Suck it a a break off. Yeah, like a, to be arranged in football, which which could help. It could, might not help. It depends if they were. It depends what the what the people want to do. To be honest, and yeah, Aaron, what are you thinking about coronavirus? I'm thinking it's a massive world. I mean, we're going to have to get used to it soon because it's yeah. going to be a massive change. It's never going to be the same, I think. But I think the football world, we will survive and um, keep our survive. heads above the water and we will go through and survive. That's my topic. <laughs> that was a great speech, Aaron. <laughs> I would like I to just state, like state an interesting um, fact here. As of the 22nd of September 2020... Say what? 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 It's, it's got Charles dice. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he went well under done. the water. Yeah, under the sea. Under the sea. As of the 22nd of September. May I continue? Yes, yes of you can. <laughs> but, uh, Premier League clubs have suffered £700 million pounds in losses. Ouch. And, it's, and it, they're losing around £100 million pounds per month. Ouch. Yeah. Ouchie. Yeah, that's not so, very nice. Oh yeah, but I do reckon I do reckon it'll get better though. I do think some that we are all in little bit getting to place and it will help footballers from yeah. getting the virus and having to self isolate. So yeah. Lennox, what's your subject, mate? The transfer news of the week. Reports Ooh. are coming that City want Kane for a hundred million. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, yeah, I don't think that will happen. Didn't they put an 100 million bid in? They're, yeah, they are going to. The way yeah, that um, Tottenham are going up, um, Kane won't move. <laughs> he won't leave. And as well, 90 million is not enough for Kane, sorry. He's worth no, 120 million. 120 million. And there's, million. A, there's a quote yeah, here that Daniel, Daniel Levy, the um, owner, no, uh, chairman, I think, of Tottenham, oh, no. he would want half a billion for Harry Kane. Jesus Christ! No one's going to yeah. no, no one's going to pay that for a human being. It's like billion. the Lionel Messi yeah. price. No, it's not. It's more, no, way that's... more than Lionel Messi. Well, no, he's, he's uh, what's it called? And oh, oh, the league's going to be a free agent. And I do reckon my right leg's faster than him. 
<laughs> also, uh, FIFA, FIFA is not an accurate representation of his pace in real life. He's quite quick in real life. Yeah. Just, just coming in an hour ago, Stuart Armstrong signed a three-year and a half deal at Southampton. Oh, extended it. He went to Celtic. Napoli are wanting Arsenal Socrates. They can have him. <laughs> yeah. He's been awful. He's yeah. been awful. And I heard, um, I heard City accepted a bid for Eric Garcia to go back to the yeah. Barca. Yeah, that, that's uh, what obviously... I was going to say next. Mm. Go on, Alex. Great minds think alike. Apparently, difficult Rigi could replace yeah. Diego Costa at Atleti. Yeah, I but hope that he is absolutely awful. I mean, he's done bits for Liverpool, like scoring in the semi-final. He's been doing, he's been doing all right. But I think that his time has passed, and um, we need some new faces in Liverpool. So there we go. As well, yeah. um, another another transfer news. Uh, Ramos to Tottenham. I mean, um, that would never that happen Reg in a million. Uh, I know it won't happen. Uh, Reg Willon has been speaking to Sergio Ramos to try and get him to try and persuade him to move, but he <sighs> doesn't want to. But his contract is uh, um, expiring uh, in six months, I think. So there's a very small chance. I don't think it will happen, but a very small and, chance. Yeah, obviously Liverpool. We've been looking at a few midfielders, defenders. Yeah. We have. We've been searching at. Um, over you don't need any more Sanchez. midfielders. That's what I was about to say. We've, we've been got looking so at many. Alex Sanchez because obviously Wijnaldum might be leaving, but no one knows yet. Because I don't. Know. I don't I, personally, I don't know why you would leave one of the best teams yeah. in the world at the moment. No, the best team in the world. The best Full team stop. In the world. Thank you. Yeah. I mean, yeah, Bayern yeah. is a good shout for the best team. Mm. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Mm. They are in a farmers league. Wolves yeah. have been linked with Diego Costa after he was released by Atletico Madrid this week. That's yeah, mine. he's been released. Th that's mine. Oh God, yeah. Sorry, I forgot about oh, that. No, let's get Actually, that. Let's, go, let's move on to mine. Let's move on to no, mine. Oh yeah, that that, that was no, a good, that's uh, a good, good segue. Good, good so, setup. My um, my subject today is about free agents. I've got two people in particular. Um, Diego Costa and the Incredible Hulk, but it's not really, it's Hulk from that Chinese league. Yes, we know. Don. So, Diego Costa, he's, he wants to go to many clubs, but Wolves are the one people that want them, want him. But Arsenal and Spurs, because Jose Mourinho said that he was one of the, uh, their best players when he managed Chelsea, and he called him an animal. But then, as well, he um, wants to move to Barcelona or Real Madrid. But yeah, Wolves so have shown the most attention. He's the elephant man, Diego man. Costa. Is the, the elephant man. Elephant man. And then Hulk. He's, he's only the been thing. linked with one team, and that is guess who? Wolverhampton what? Wanderers. Wolverhampton Wanderers oh once God. again. Wait, they're mentioned. not Portuguese, so they won't go there. But Spanish and Portuguese, is it, uh, they speak the same Literally language. The same thing, yeah. But I don't, I don't reckon Diego Costa, I'm surprised about his Atletico Madrid malarkey, but... He gets too yeah, many red cards. I think right. he's, the amount of, he's been to more clubs than I can count on my fingers, to uh, be honest. He's gone, to, he's gone from some Brazil team to Atletico Madrid to Chelsea, back to Atletico Madrid. So three oh. clubs. So it's not that many. No, he's been. No, who's that Don that's gone to loads of clubs? Oh, what's his name? Oh, oh. the Brazilian Don. Balotelli. The Balotelli. <laughs> 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 the Brazilian Don. <laughs> Balotelli. He's been to everywhere though. Yeah, oh, Immobile. Immobile's been like. Immobile's been like, to loads of clubs. clubs, like British Dortmund and Sevilla. Yeah. Oh, actually, that's. Yeah. Just... So three I think, so, there, I think um, there will be more. I think there will be more free agents come, considering the where, and the yeah. other things. Where did you say you thought uh, Hulk was going? Wolverhampton. See, now this is my issue with this. Currently, um, Hulk is in four hundred and fifty thousand euros <laughs> a week, <laughs> which means he is uh, in the top five most highest-paid footballers in the world. Isn't Gareth Bale up there? Yeah. Gareth Bale is up there, and I think he must be third behind Messi and Ronaldo or something stupid that's like that. Anyway, oh, actually, oh, he's probably not. Anyway, 
Oscar gets paid. Do you off. think Wolves can basically afford half a million every week? No, no, well, no, well, no one can. can. And they haven't. They've got a tro. Uh, they no, haven't they, got a trophy. They probably split. They it get like they with, get like a top four bonus. They probably though. split it with Real Madrid. See, I don't think Hulk will will settle. They he won't expect four hundred grand a week. I but mean, I reckon right. that Wolves could split it in the middle and give him two hundred. Yeah, but then playing playing for China, he's playing for a Chinese team. He's going to get more money, isn't he? Because obviously the Chinese are very Ooh. wealthy. And yeah. not healthy though. They've got COVID. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, Alright, so now let's swiftly move it on. Let's go for the O'Sullivan. Well, no, they don't no, they don't really have COVID though. They've what they've done they've probably they've got basically me. They basically gave it to everyone. everyone all the other and then they go partying for New they Year's Eve. Yeah, then they go partying. Like Be careful what you say, yeah. Be careful what you say. <laughs> <laughs> they so, the world. Sorry to all, to all our Chinese viewers out there. <laughs> yeah, all right. We're That's like 30 it. subscribers, relax. <laughs> relax, dude. Okay. All right. O'Sullivan now. Um, so, mine is the title race. So, there are seven points. Um, covering the top six, Liverpool are three points clear uh, as it stands at the moment, with United oh, and Leicester and Everton all on their tails. But <laughs> Arsenal, no, uh, Villa and Chelsea are tied with Tottenham, City. And Southampton, all on 26 points. So it's a very open title race with tons of points to play for. The goal difference for Liverpool is 17. So they are the top scorers in the league, despite so, shipping, oh shipping seven. <laughs> so, <laughs> basically... <laughs> well, I'm not quite sure what was, what was going on there, Connie. You are right, yeah? Yeah, yeah. I'm right. Yeah, you, can breathe, you, you can breathe now, you can breathe. So... There's one win between ninth place and third place. What's that so yeah, one gone. win. Um, as well, uh, played. Uh, I suppose Southampton have. Man City have two games in hand, and not yeah. two games in hand. They've still got two games behind, so they could. Two games. Uh, through my have a game in hand as well. Through my quick mathematics, they could go second, winning those two matches. So. All I've got yeah. to say as well is, can we just can we just talk about how much Liverpool have been choking at the minute? Yeah, we've been like, choking. So yeah. I was uh, we've had I was six draws I was sleeping year. the other day and um I was thinking if we would have won against West Brom, won against Brighton, and won against Newcastle, well, we only we lost would to be... Brighton due to VAR. Yeah, well, uh, just... it becomes a typical Liverpool fan. Blame no, everything on the, VAR. The stats actually are, we've had the least VAR decisions go our way this year. Hang on, wait, hang on lads. Oh, oh sorry, I found them. I just had to scroll down to find Arsenal on the table. Sorry guys. What was you saying? Yeah. You I was something? saying that Liverpool <laughs> fans always blame VAR. Listen, actually, oh, oh, we've gone up with 13th. I thought we were 15th. Oh, that's nice. That's oh, a, that's a you love anyway, it. Three goal difference. Anyway. Anyway, no, we are the greatest, where Chelsea are. the greatest team in English football history, but that's irrelevant. Let's go back to the need, Well, that's not true. You need a telescope to see you. Um, that just doesn't you make do any sense. You do realise this, this, this is just uh, a table. It's not like a physical table. You can't look down the table, yeah? Yeah, I know. <laughs> okay, just yeah. check it. Yeah. But I, mean, I reckon... Who do you not reckon will win the league? I'm saying I'm set on Liverpool. I'm set on yeah, Chelsea. I'm set. I'm set on Sheffield United. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think mate. all of a sudden they're gonna buy Ronaldo <laughs> for like Jesus two Christ. million. They've got, they've got 31 points to make up. That's Don't fine. think that's gonna happen. So, I mean, Liverpool are obviously strong contenders. I mean, contenders. What are they right, just listen. Bottling it against West Brom, bottling it against Newcastle. I mean, um, Carl Darlow, if it wasn't for Carl Darlow in that game, we, we would have won. The probably prof the, the prof could have saved them. But that Crystal Palace match, you made a statement there, winning 7 0, that is really quite impressive. However, I do not think you're going to win the league. 
Actually, actually, I've changed my mind already. I do yeah, think you're gonna yeah, win. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say, exactly. Yeah, I was just gonna win no, the league. I, 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 man, Man United you. are on fault. Yeah, Man United I'm are on fault. I'm actually scared. Um, Chelsea are off your go top tonight. Last six games, they've won more games than you. Um, and draw, they've drawn two, uh, one, four. Whereas you've won three and drawn three. Man so, United can't go top tonight. We, your we goal difference is Oh no, they can't. Imagine yeah. we we've lost seven two to Aston Villa. That's the biggest loss of probably Liverpool's entire <laughs> lifespan. That's and like, like, like obviously being on seventeen goal difference is just very good. Yeah, if think about it, Crystal Palace have lost seven nil to us, and they're on minus nine goal difference and and in fifteenth. So we've Liverpool's done well. largest league loss was uh, in 1912 against Sunderland, where they lost 7-0. Oh no, not Sunderland! Oh, Don't worry, Adam Johnson's on the loose. That was that. Was, that was, <laughs> oh no, he would have been, he would have been in his white pants that day. Oh, not again! Not <laughs> again. <laughs> If they would have known him back then, surely there'd be no kids allowed in the stadium. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or allowed to stay after the game, either. Anyway, let's stop now. Um, Ollie, what's your subject? Right, this is this is where it gets interesting. So I've gone with Olivier Drew, also known as the most underrated player in Premier League history. Oh. Now... Here we have uh, some statistics. He's stats. got the second. He's got the second most substitute goals in history, um, four goals behind Jermaine Defoe. He's obviously 34 years old. He is getting on a bit, but it's relevant. He's got 89 Prem goals. Now, to put that into perspective, that's more than Eric Cantona, Cristiano Ronaldo, Carlos Tevez, Dennis Bergkamp, and surprisingly, Mohamed Salah. He's a Puskas he, Award winner. Yeah, yeah, he's got but four. Be quiet for a minute. 44 goals for France, 6 goals behind Thierry Henry to become France's all-time record goalscorer, and 73 goals for Arsenal. Crack and he won a World Cup. Cup. And he won a World Cup. Yeah, but and I'm, four just FA saying, Cups. I'm just saying, look how long Giroud's been there, and look how long Salah and Ronaldo's well, been there. Well, Salah did play for yeah. Chelsea, didn't he? <laughs> yeah, but are you counting that? Who just said that? Who just said that? Who just said that? God, I hate you, dear. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. It was Charlie. Oh, it was me, but I just don't know how you can say Olivier <laughs> Giroud is underrated. He is underrated. He's, yeah, to be fair, he is a no, little no, underrated. No one was saying that when he wasn't on form and has scored. When Actually, he scored. I've been saying it for the last seven years. <laughs> <laughs> no, when you were like, I smell lies. Did he? Did he? Drop is still better than Olivier Giroud. No cap. Really? Really? Yes, <laughs> yes really. <laughs> Oh, oh, I know I'm being yeah. sarcastic. Um, he'd be he's just, he's just a fantastic player, really. Um, yeah. He won us to Europa this League. Season, this, this season in the Champions League, I know they all came in one match. Uh, four appearances and five goals. Uh, uh, three goals in the Prem and the Carabao Cup, one goal. Yeah. I mean, he's just, yeah, he's but... just, he just bangs them in. Yeah, I, just, I don't know. He, I don't know about that one. He's someone that, like, the bottom teams, Leeds. like, the bottom, like, mid-table teams need in their, uh, Starting in 11. their team just to get them goals. Just to help them out and, it. and a plan B if the play, if the way they don't play goes wrong. So, 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 so you're saying, uh, he's not, uh, Chelsea standard. See, well, I'm not no, saying no. that, but well, he, he would be good the, for like, like, someone like West Ham. Well, no, no, I'm trying to he say something. He is a better it... player than uh, Timo Werner. No, he yeah, is. No cap. Yes, he is. Timo Werner's got the dribbling oh, no, no. and the pace. I would say, yeah, I would say yeah. that if Giroud was 10 years younger, he would be one of the world's greatest players. Oh my god, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> As that. Lennox says, he's got class on grass. He's not Great for that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um... Grass. What are we doing now? Ventilating. 
And uh, as well, going back That's to what me. you said earlier, Charlie, you, uh, no, or is Aaron, um, you said about him playing loads of matches. The only reason he's played loads of matches is because he's so good. You, you don't get to play at such a high standard for so long unless you're a cracking player. And, he, and the only reason, like, and Deschamps really likes him, so that's why he gets in the French team as well. Cause yeah, but even so, Deschamps, he still scores loads of goals for him. Yeah. He's an out and out striker. Yeah. He's, yeah. A, he's a poacher. He's a, he yeah. does his job. He's a target man. Yeah. Yeah, he's a target man. Yeah. So, is that it, guys, for today's week yeah. two round up? I think it is. I think yes. So, thank you, you guys very much for watching today's video, and yeah. we will see you in the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Goodbye. Yeah, bye bye. bye.